Prey, the latest film in the Predator franchise. Did anyone else feel like this was shadow dropped? I remember a trailer for it like a year ago, and then all of a sudden I see ads saying it's out now. Either way, this was something I was really excited to see after the flop that was The Predator. Following Iron Man 3 and Nice Guys, I had high hopes that Shane Black was going to make an incredible Predator movie. And while I appreciate the effort everyone put into that movie, it was a hot mess. Now, just a quick aside before getting into my review of Prey, there have been a bunch of pre-review speculations made about this new Predator movie by online personalities saying it was going to be horrible because of the premise that a female warrior was the protagonist. And it's all been put in the spotlight now that the movie's come out to great acclaim. The reason people are spotlighting this stuff is because these speculations weren't particularly based around anything sound, and the people saying this aren't well-rounded movie reviewers. How is it that these people came to have fan bases that listen to them? Basically, in the 2010s, producers cash-grabbed on movie franchises from the 80s by making lazy remakes, uh, a lot of them with a political message about feminism, switching things up so that ladies were the protagonists. But they did it in a very pandery way that felt condescending to both men and women. And while nobody wants to watch something lazy, or that have political messages force-fed to them, that period of movie remakes has now done something to a large group of dudes, where they'll cry foul at any story where the protagonist isn't the same race or sex as the original protagonist from the 80s, which was almost always white men. That is a very fucked up worldview to have, and I would say I feel sorry for these internet personalities, except they're the ones making money off of perpetuating that worldview. So fuck them. Now, onto the review. Because I gotta speculate that since it didn't star like Scarlett Johansson as a Native American woman, this movie didn't release in theaters. It's sad that releases work that way, prioritizing stardom over story, but that's the world we live in. Either way, since it dropped on streaming, I was instantly able to watch it right when it came out at home, which is the ultimate perk of streaming. And man do I gotta say, this is the best Predator movie since the original Predator. Its story is simplistic, but deeply rewarding. We follow Amber Midthunder as Naru, an aspiring warrior in a patriarchal tribe of Comanche people. She's self-taught, making her hunting methods unorthodox, but ingenious. However, due to not being formally trained, she isn't as good as her older brother or the other warriors, and is ridiculed for her passion. But when a malevolent creature is found killing animals near their home, Naru takes it upon herself to kill it and save her tribe. The movie did an amazing job showing Naru's progression in skill as she fails several times but learns from her mistakes. This is a true successor to the original film, and I give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review. If you enjoy my stuff, make sure to subscribe and check out more movie reviews that I do. So, until next time, ciao for now. Peace.